mean I'm chasing love Three days to reason Could this be the season of us? We're perfect on paper But we can't remain as a trace Tell me a little bit about what's been happening over the last year or so. I actually work for a charity that works with young people, teaches them kind of music and things like that. So, so how did you job. discover that? Um, I think uh, just I've been playing in different bands and working with different people, and then the opportunity just came up. Uh, it's a place where they could really encourage me to kind of pursue the things outside of it, um, and really believed in what they were doing. Um, so we we do a lot of schools work and. So you're, you're the creative front end of the charity then? Yeah, so basically my, I have a Ponzi title which is Artistic Development Tutor, which sounds very impressive but it's really not. Basically it just means I work with bands, um, young people, um, just spend most of my time going to gigs and kind of encouraging them. And, and as, a, as a writer and a performer, do you find that, that an inspirational environment to be working in? Oh yeah, completely. Um, I'm surrounded by like-minded people, um, there's a real atmosphere of creativity, much more than I've ever experienced in my life. Um, a real uh, kind of encouragement to plumb the depths of your heart, to actually spill that out and wipe it on the page, and yeah, so it's fantastic. Well, fantastic. And from a recording point of view, have you do you have a current album or you? Yeah, we've, material? we've done uh, we've done two CDs, two EPs. We did one that we um, put out at the beginning of this year, and now we've just done a new one. Um, about I uh, finished off about three weeks ago. He's a good producer friend of mine, and um, yeah, it's been great. Where did you record that? I'm going to use studios at work. Yeah, oh. free speed. Why wouldn't you? 
Fantastic facility. And do you find that actually that there's a bit of a network that you can plug into for your creativity as well as, as the charity, as well as yeah. the business? Yeah, I think, um, I, I think, I mean, even just spending a couple of years, you know, hanging around the London scene and being in Coventry is actually quite useful because close to Manchester, Bristol, it's quite central. Um, in fact, it's as far away from the beach as you can get in the UK, which is very depressing. <laughs> but there you go. Um, yeah, it is useful. Um, and again, like I said, being around around people who are encouraging, lots of songwriters, lots of guys who are really out there gigging a lot. Um, there's just a, a good community feel there. So, yeah, right. And what are your influences in music? What, 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 who are the artists that really got you excited about playing? Uh, guys like James Taylor. Um, I just like great songs. Classic songwriters. Classic songwriters. So James Taylor, um, Jackson Brown, um, guys like that. But then I guess kind of growing up, my formative years, just some people like Neil Finn, um, stuff like that really. Um, and tonight yeah. you've got a, a kind of an acoustic lineup. Yeah, our, um, yeah, we play as a four piece. Uh, a four piece usually are. Um, our drummer has some has some bad news today, so uh, he's not going to make it. But that's okay. Um, so yeah, the three of us: uh, myself, Jake, and Cossie. Great guys, uh, love them. So yeah. Well, Rich, thanks very much for your time. Good luck with the gig. We'll see you later. Great. The jokes go off in smoke Cause they're not funny
Uh, and this is, uh, this is called Shoes With Me, and it's for you if you're in love. Thank you very much. Come and say hello.